and welcome, I'm your Code Monkey. Spring is here, and with that comes tons of spring sales. If you need anything for the game you're currently working on, then check these out. Right now you have the Unity Asset Store Spring Sale, with 500 of the best-selling assets at up to 80% off. Then you have the Sinti Sale, all of their gorgeous packs at 50% off and some at 70% off. And finally you also have two humble bundles, one with tons of sprites and tools, and another one with tons of icons. The links are affiliate links, so if you pick up anything, you get some awesome assets for your games, and I get a nice commission. So here's some quick highlights from all of those sales. But before that, just a quick mention, last week I made a really nice XCOM-like prototype, and in that video I announced that the reason why I made that prototype is because I'm working on making a full step-by-step -step course making that game. So if you're interested in learning how to make a turn-based strategy game like XCOM or Final Fantasy Tactics, then check out the link in the description to sign up and I'll let you know when the course is out. Okay, so first up on the Unity Asset Store, the main feature on this sale are the flash deals. They start off at 80% off, and then the discount goes lower as more people pick it up. The 80% off only has a couple hundred copies, but the 70% off has quite a lot of them. As you can see, a bunch of these 70% off with thousands left. And importantly, you can browse all of the upcoming ones. So for example, as I'm recording this, I can see that the Paint in 3D is going to be 80% off in 3.5 hours. So if any of these look interesting, you know exactly when you need to be here in order to click on the Buy Now button. Some of the assets that I can definitely recommend are the ones that I covered in my Asset Review series. All of them are on sale except for the Curved Worlds. So you can go ahead and watch these videos to get an idea for what the assets do and learn how easy they are to use before you actually pick them up. You have the A-Star Pathfinding Project. I highly recommend this one if you need some insanely fast pathfinding, or really just more options than the built-in nav mesh. It's what I've used in my Steam games. For example, in Hyper Knights, I had at most around 800 units in a single map, and the pathfinding itself was still taking just something like 2 milliseconds, so it's extremely performant. Then you have the Odin Inspector. This one is an excellent tool for making tools. If you take the time to learn and you use it correctly, it can greatly improve your productivity. Then the all-in-one sprite shader, this one is a really awesome tool for easily adding tons of effects. It's primarily meant for sprites, but even if you have a 3D game, you can use it to polish up your UI. As I'm recording the video, the all-in-one sprite shader is still at 70% off with a thousand copies left. Up next, Rayfire, this one is a truly impressive destruction system. Adding this one to your game will definitely make it stand out, and it's also insanely performant. Then there's the Quantum Console. I really loved working with this one. It lets you easily add a console to your games and define any commands to do anything you want. It's extremely useful while developing your game for easily testing, so there's no need for writing some code for some special input for debugging. You just add some proper commands to the console really easily. And finally there's Feel. Basically, Polish is one of the most important parts about game development. Polish is what separates good games from great games. So this asset is a collection of tools to easily add tons of polish to your game to make it really satisfying. So all of these are discount and I can highly recommend them. And again, remember that the deeper discounts are over here on the flash sales. But despite their name, the flash sales don't really end in the flash. You've got quite a lot of time, quite a lot of thousands of copies to get them at at least at 70% off. And of course, up here, all of the non-flash deals are still awesome. They're at half price. So the ones that I covered in my review series, Rayfire, Feel, and A-Star Pathfinding Project, all of these at 50% off. This sale has all of the best-selling assets, so pretty much everything included here is excellent. You've got Gaia Pro if you want to make some really complex environments. Final IK if you want some really complex dynamic animations. Easy Save, this one has tons and tons of features for adding any kind of save system. Then here's a really gorgeous anime in style, stylized shader. Then you've got a tool for handling behavior trees and tons more. Okay, so that's the Unity Asset Store Spring Sale. The next sale happening right now is on the Synthi Store. This one is the official store for Synthi Studios. As you know, I'm a huge fan of their style, I love their low poly assets. On this sale, you also have everything at 50% off, and then each week there's a bonus at 70% off. Their packs are all awesome, you've got massive packs with literally thousands of assets, and some smaller ones for a pretty cheap price. The bonus asset for this week is the Polygon Fantasy Kingdom pack at 70% off. This is one of the massive ones, there's over 2000 detailed prefabs. Basically, if your game has a medieval theme, then this one has all of the assets you could possibly need. Over here are the key features, so as you can see you've got tons of characters, you've got a whole bunch of character attachments, then tons of various vehicles, some modular castles and houses, so you can easily build them as you want. you got a bunch of presets that are optimized to be super performant, tons of environment, props and lots more things. So if you're interested in this one, definitely get it quickly. The 70% off bonus discount ends next Monday. 
Then the next bonus next week is the kids pack. This one is definitely a very unique pack. Lots of kids, lots of characters. And in the final week, you have the Western Frontier. If your game has cowboys and Indians, perhaps if you're building something inspired by Red Dead Redemption, then this one looks like a great pack. So those are the special ones, but all of their other packs are at half price. Like I said, you have some massive packs with literally thousands of assets and some other smaller ones that are pretty cheap. So over here, the Cypher Worlds and Apocalypse pack, these are some of their biggest ones. The Sapphire Worlds pack has a giant amount of assets. Just looking at the video, you can see about five or six different biomes. If you're looking for something sort of in the vein of Call of Duty or Battlefield, then this military pack looks excellent. Then if you just need characters, you have the Fantasy Characters pack. This one features a massive amount of modular character parts. One request that I've received quite a bit is asking for a tutorial on character customization. I'm planning on covering that and I'll probably use this pack to demonstrate it. With 700 modular pieces, you can build a near infinite amount of characters. Then if you need some low poly particle effects, this pack has tons of them. All of them look really nice, low poly and for a pretty cheap price. Then down here the icons also looks pretty interesting. The war pack if you need something World War 1 or World War 2. If you're working on a zombie game, you've got over here a bunch of regular city zombies and then over here some special boss zombies. So if you combine both of them, you have great variety for your zombie game. Then the Battle Royale pack, I've used this one in tons of my videos. It's also pretty cheap, especially for the amount of assets that it contains. And then you've got tons more, you've got Pirates, Office, City, you've got a bunch of Horror, Nightclub, you've got a Heist, Explorer, Fantasy Characters, a really interesting prototype pack, really cheap, a bunch of mini characters, and so on. So these last two are on a different style. And finally, if you want an even more different style, then down here is the Simple series. These are on a much more blocky style, so even more low poly than the Polygon series. And all of these are pretty cheap, pretty small packs, but look really nice. So if you're working on a hyper casual game, or just something from a very far away camera, then all of these packs can look really nice. Alright, so that's the Senti Store. Again, I'm recording this in the middle of the week, so if you're interested in the Fantasy Kingdom pack, definitely get it quickly while it's at 70% off. And finally, we have a bunch of bundles over here on Humble Bundle. Some of these are game dev related, others are just software. As usual, these have an insane discount, over 95% off. This one is about AppKit Studio, I'm not familiar with this one. Then you've got some video bundle, also I'm not sure about this one. Then if you want to make some music or sound effects for your games, then this one can be great. After that is this one, which might actually be over by the time you watch this video. It's a bunch of 2D RPG assets and tools. Then over here, the game dev toolbox. This one has quite a lot of tools. I'm also not familiar with these ones, but they look like they could be useful, especially if you're working on a 2D game. And beyond that, you've got tons of asset packs. All of these look excellent if you're going for that old school RPG look. And also contains a bunch of audio, sound effects, music, and so on. Then there's a Filmmaker's VFX bundle, so maybe this one could be interesting if you need something special for your game trailer. And finally down here is a massive icon bundle. These kinds of massive icon bundles happen every once in a while. I picked one up quite a long ago. It's pretty useful to have a massive library of icons. This one is pretty cheap. You can get it for just 20 bucks. And with that, you get over 7,000 icons. So if you don't have any pack like this one, then I would highly recommend you get it. It's always nice to add a bit of polish to your prototypes or game jam games. As you can see, you've got tons of variety. So you got a bunch of bags, boxes, a bunch of scrolls, magic. Lots of weapon and armor, some resources, potions, bunch of fishing, hunting, forest, lots more armor, barbarians, spell books, and so on. So as you can see, tons and tons of stuff. So out of all the humble bundles, this one is probably the best one with the most use cases. If you don't have any icon pack like this one, then I'd highly recommend you get it. It's pretty cheap and it'll help you on tons of games. Alright, so those are all of the sales happening right now. Basically, there's no reason for your project to be using programmer art like I use in my own projects for so long. Just using some proper assets will really help all of your games look much more professional. Regardless of the genre or theme of your game, I'm sure you'll find something perfect just for you. So check out all of the sales links in the description. As usual, those are affiliate links, so if you use them, it's the same price to you, you get some awesome assets and I get a nice commission. And don't forget to sign up on my website if you're interested in my upcoming turn-based strategy course. Alright, hope that's useful, check out these videos to learn some more. Thanks to these awesome Patreon supporters for making these videos possible. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.